Here's the result of my work. A day old mink pup. It's my last day in a fur farm where I worked for two months. Would you like to know what I saw? This is a mink farm. They are carnivorous, live separately in the wild, swim a lot and hunt in water. But here they are held in cages to produce fur. <laughs> Mating time begins. Not an easy job. Need to work fast, catch the female and throw in cages with males. They run and resist, pee on us, bite hands. Even with double gloves, our fingers are all bitten. She did that, yeah? Yeah. What did you do, my cabin? You basically did it. You basically did it. You basically did it. Breeding females are kept the longest, if they live. Many are mauled during mating. For a month we throw them in with different males. Many have inflamed genitals from intense mating. Soon, I find out this job is impossible to do without violence. Want it or not, you have to get brutal to do what they ask of you, and as fast as the bosses want it. You get used to violence. Even the kindest people get numb and brutal working here. Torn tails, legs, eaten brain is a common sight here, and nobody treats the wounded mink. They are culled at best, but often just left in cages to die. The mink here are killed in a gas chamber. As mink swim and dive, they can hold their breath for a long time. That's why the 10 minute suffocation might not be enough. Numbed by this brutal, cruel job, the workers make the last moments of Mink's lives more miserable. 
Jakubs ar Armandu pisa galvi, ka viņa asiņēja nāk ārā no gārba. Tā metrē to malku pārši ir dolas pusē. Citreiz, ka vēl sārā no būra, viņš tev iekoš, ka tev bici pret otru būs tur kaut kas gatavs. This job is inhumane. No surprise the workers rotate. Almost no one can stand it. I wonder how this business still exists. Why become monsters and torture wild animals? Please help us stop the fur farming. Be a human. Thank you. <laughs>